All right, we got Boeing, uh, and the stock is uh, watching it ticking higher, higher than it was a couple of minutes ago, at, right after the numbers, Phil. Uh, sort of, in, uh, it looks like it's accelerating up, but uh, we'll see when it's all said and done. Phil has the sure. numbers. Joe, it's moving higher because these are better than expected numbers for the second quarter from Boeing. Let's start with the bottom line. The company reporting a narrower than expected loss of 82 cents a share. The street was expecting a loss of 88 cents a share. Revenue coming in better than expected at 19.75 billion, more than a billion above the consensus estimate. Free cash flow, and this is the one that's going to get a lot of attention, 2.6 billion, actually 2.57 billion. The estimate was for $127 million. Some of that could be explained because the analysts may not have been anticipating the advance payments that go with some of the large orders that were booked late in the second quarter. But that is a free cash flow number that is well above the street estimate. Operating margin, negative 2%. And they do have charges, three of them, in the second quarter uh, related to defense and space programs totaling $514 million. Now let's talk about the guidance. They are reaffirming the 737 MAX production. It is transitioning as we speak to 38 a month. We've known it was going to happen. It is actually happening now going from 31 to 38 a month. They are reaffirming, reaffirming their guidance for 37 MAX as well as 787 full year delivery guidance. So that guidance is not changing at all. And they're reaffirming their free cash flow guide for the year of between three and five billion dollars. Lots to discuss with Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun. We're going to be talking with him on Squawk on the Street. Again, these are better than expected numbers across the board. In fact, it's the first time in two years, guys, that they have done better than the analysts expected in terms of earnings, obviously a lower than expected loss, revenue, and free cash flow.